having done, uh, having finished with the organizational structure, you're now going to set up and you're, you're creating your tax bins for the year, or rather you're setting up your tax bins for the year. And because this is a new payroll, we're going on to new so that we can set up new tax bins. Now in Zimbabwe, we've got a dual currency system. So we either use US dollars or we use uh, RTGS for our tax bins or if a, uh, a person can be paid in both RTGS and USD. Now, in this case, we're going to be using RTGS taxmans. So we're going to set them up first. We've already got a USD tax um, uh, text table set up. So we're gonna set up the RTGS text tables. So to do that, we're gonna to go to the button, to the ellipse button here, uh, the button with the two dots, click there, and we're going to insert. And because the RTGS dollar is the national currency for Zimbabwe, the tax table is then called the default tax table after the default currency in the system. So we're going to click on default and close, and we're going to set that up as our tax table. And then we want to effect tax bans that were introduced as of the 1st of January, 2021. So we're going to set up the 1st of January, 2021 and click on this ellipse button to auto create these tax tables. Once, it's, once, it, uh, once you've selected that, the system will ask you to make sure that you're using the correct uh, parameters. If you are, then click yes, and the, tech, then the system will automatically pop out or populate with the tax pens for you. After having done that, um, if you are using the US dollar tax pens, it's quite simple. Simply switch over to USD and the system will automatically switch over for you as well. All right, we're going to be using default. So let me just go back to default. After that, we're going to put in our NASA code, select NASA. And after that, this is how your tax tables should be looking if you're going to be processing for RTGS. And if you're going to be processing for USD, this is how your tax bands should also be looking. Having done that, simply click OK and we can move on further to the next step, which is putting in the company account details.